Hey guys, happy Christmas in July. If the stores can do it, so can us stampers. Um, so I'd like to welcome you to my first Christmas card of July, the first Christmas card of this year. Um, Don H. Creates is hosting a collab for everybody. And um, so there's quite a few wonderful ladies that have signed up. I've been checking out their channels. They're awesome. Um, I can't wait to see what they create today as well, so be sure and check the links below. Hopefully, I can get them to link. I'm not very uh, tech savvy, but I'm going to try and um, see what all they're doing. If I can't, please go to Dawn H. Creates channel. She'll have them all. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm looking forward to this collab, and it's like I said, it's every Saturday in July, and each Saturday has a theme, and so this Saturday's theme is a metallic theme. So, I decided to do a metallic oven card and make it look all metalized, or that's a word. Anyway, um, so we're going to use this a Sprinkled with Joy set by Lawn Fawn. And um, this is actually going to be a card for my friend Amy. She was really excited when I got this set probably a year or two ago. And um, so was I. But we, um, <laughs> well, like I would promised her a card and then I did not deliver because... Um, I was afraid of this set somehow. It was just a little overwhelming and it was too much because it did something, right? Like it opens and that freaked me out. <laughs> so, um, today I'm going to conquer my fear and conquer the oven. So anyway, we're also going to use the add-ons for this, which makes the oven open and things like that. And some dies that cut out some of the stuff. So, all right. Um, so this cuts out the main oven. But then another piece cuts out. It makes it actually open up. So um, I've just stamped all of these little goodies out. And if you want to use that die, that's perfectly fine. But I have gone ahead and um, cut these out. So. Alright, so it pops out that piece, right? And then um, it's like a little... Um, edge here you can fold and so then your oven will open like that all right so let's go ahead and clear all these away I just use a little bit of washi tape to um, to tape down my stuff most of the time I feel like it it moves otherwise so you know and you try not to get bit by the the die monster. Um, you see these little sharp things. Um, I need a really good file or something to file those metal parts down. Um, I'll just get in a hurry and snip the dies or like wiggle them apart and break them and uh, so I don't um, end up doing them correctly <laughs> and then later they end up like stabbing me. So we don't need any uh, death by death by dies, do we? All right, so this is the tray, the little cookie sheet. So that's adorable. All right, so let's just get, whoops, that one popped away. Get them all out here, and makes me want, everything makes me want to eat, I think, but uh, makes me want to eat some Christmas cookies. So have you guys, do you guys make Christmas cookies in general? Um, I do, but, <laughs> but they're not very good, to be honest. Um, where is that thing? Do do. Oh, there it is. This is, um, I couldn't figure out what this was for a bit. That is a towel. So that's kind of cool. And then there's the big die. Okay. So I'm just going to try to find somewhere to set these here. Somewhat out of the way. So we can get to work. All right, so um, first thing we're going to do, I think, is just color up the towel, because that's easy. We all like easy, easy stamping. Um, and my, uh, I grew up, my mother always had a, a towel hanging on the oven, whether it was Christmas or not, and also one, um, one at the uh, on like the refrigerator handle so just gonna fold that a little bit we're gonna put the heart 
on that here in just a bit. We're going to color this silver, probably brown. I don't know what color that's going to be, but it says vanilla frosting. How cute. Um, I don't really think those are going to be too big. This we're probably going to use for the inside. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to put these two pieces that I'm not using aside. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that piece. I think that's going on the inside. But So let's just focus on what we know we're going to do. And I know in my heart of hearts that gingerbread men are brown, right? So we can go with that. He's a cutie. I love gingerbread. I love the taste of gingerbread. It's awesome. You do his little buttons and red. So anyway, so tell me what kind of... Um, I don't like that color. Let's try another color. What color is this? It's a flesh color for the vanilla frosting. Let's go with that. Um, tell me about your cookies and what kind you make and what the name of them, or if, if they have a special name or whatever. Um, leave me a recipe below if it's something you really love. We go up and make cookies most years. Um, with my aunts and my cousin, um, it's become kind of a tradition, I guess, um, of baking Christmas cookies right before Christmas, and it's the, um, oh, I don't know, it kind of, I don't do the actually cookie mix part, I'm, uh, on the decorator line, and, um, it's the, you know, like, well, we put buttercream icing and whatever my aunt, um, We'll make that from scratch, and um, but we it's really thick and yummy, <laughs> um, and, and great to decorate if you know what you're doing, um, which none of us actually do. My the one aunt, um, she actually can do. She can she's done some awesome cakes and things, but the rest of us we just kind of plug along and hope something you know turns out that might resemble like a tree or might resemble a candy cane or something like that so um that's okay we have fun um but they normally do turn out to be a complete hot mess <laughs> but again like i said that's it's just fun um so we're not definitely <laughs> definitely not winning any uh competitions or and no one sees them but us so it's not a big deal um, all right, so now for our metallic start of this, this is a Jane Davenport, um, Arctic Ocean something, it's whatever that is, um, it's got like a large point or something, um, and it's a glitter thingy, so I guess it's just like a glitter, um, pen or marker, I don't know if you're supposed to push it in. I don't know, but I wanted the, the baking sheet to be like super duper metallic. And it is definitely not as smooth as what I thought it would be. <laughs> or maybe it's just like, maybe it's old. Maybe it's like those old Sharpies, you know how you have to, that was a Sharpie, it was like a paint pen. Um, you'd have to push down before the the paint would start to flow. I don't know. We're just going to keep coloring and hope it looks okay. So hopefully Amy will like this and it'll be a nice surprise. And um, I don't know. I might not be able to wait till the holidays, although I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, I might give it to her and just tell her we're celebrating Christmas in July. So, um, all right, so technically that would go in there, and these would all lay somehow. All right, so we're not going to worry about that for now. We're just going to worry about coloring. Oh, man, you know what I need? <laughs> I don't think I cut one. Hang on. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, we got, oh, I did not. Alright guys, I do need one of these. I forgot as a backer. So I'm, I truly apologize. But I'm going to have to flip around here and cut this. So just enjoy some uh, vanilla frosting and cookies and I'll be right back. There's that thing. Alright guys, I am cutting, putting it in the big shot. Alright. Okie dokie. And we're back. Okay. Try to get it to cut too. Awesome. Just in case I mess up there. Forgot I wanted to back it. Um, okay. So, what I saw online was this will sit on top of here. So from about here down, I need to be like really dark. And these are horrible markers. They're they're fabulous, but they're horrible for this particular thing <laughs> to just do straight coloring with. But I don't have something that's like dark enough as far as gray. Unless I did, I guess I could do black. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I've just got this out. We're just gonna go with this. Um. What is this terrible coloring? Maybe I should go with black. How come nothing ever works right when you turn the camera on? You can sit here by yourself all day working on stuff and it's working fine. Turn that camera on, everything goes crazy. Nothing works, nothing opens, your glue's stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good times, good times. <laughs> uh, my mom never really baked any Christmas cookies, which she would come to my aunt's and things with me. Um, but she was a cake baker. She would do all sorts of cakes and pies and other types of desserts, but she never, um, she never got into, uh, and she didn't do fudge either. She didn't do cookies. She didn't do fudge. One time she tried to make me fudge. It was horrible. But I don't really know how you mess up fudge. But she did. So. Um, that was definitely not. Not her thing. So. Everybody's got their thing. But my little cousin Christy. She adores when we make cookies. And um, she's older now. But she still definitely wants to. To have her cookie night and everybody's really busy and whatever because it's usually like I said beforehand and uh, it's, it's tough but <laughs> but we still do it so but it's all worth it for the buttercream icing <laughs> okay so this is my darkest gray the lightest so, this is um, N5, and I'm not, I'm not a Copic person. <laughs> I don't really blend, but I'm going to try to just add some darker shades here and there somehow this time. We'll see how it goes. Maybe over here on the edge. Up a little. Hmm. Some there. I don't know. This is just hot mess too. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Okay. So now we're just probably just going to come in <laughs> and do what I should have done to start with. Just just do one color and we'll just blend most of that in. Um, I don't think it's going to look like the proper 
Copic methods, but that's okay. I can live with that. I do have a one color in between if we really, really have messed it up here. We'll see. But I think it'll be alright. Alrighty. So what are you guys watching on TV or movies these days? Um, I heard the new Annabelle movies out if you like scary movies. I love scary movies. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to have to look it up. My fiance saw, ooh, yuck, um, saw previews, but I did not. So I definitely want to, uh, to check that out for sure. It would be nice to hit a few movies before going back to, to work. So it's always a nice little thing to do. Probably just color that behind there too, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know if that's really supposed to be silver. I guess it is on most of them, so. I also want to see the um, the Pets movie part two. I saw part one and it was really cute. And uh, my friend Amy went to see part two and she said it was really cute, so. And anything, any movie with dogs and cats and all that and talking, I think it's adorable. So, um, for those of you that have been asking about my little Rusty, um, he's doing much, much better. I'm so happy. He's still, he's still on antibiotics, but all the other medicine is done now. And um, he is doing so much better. So, um, whoopsie. Oops, oops, oops. All right. So, there's that. And so I want it to have like a, a Christmassy look. And I don't, I thought about putting red and green. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I cut out the handle that's going to be in green. But what if? Nah, I guess I'll stick with her. I think I'll stick with green. I did that red and that red, maybe. Oh, uh, what do you say? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think, I know it would look right in green, I think. <laughs> in my mind, it does. But, it is the holidays, and I feel like that holiday color is definitely red. So, I really, really, really want to catch up on some cards um, or get ahead I guess and this was just the collab to do it I was a little nervous because like any collab I join it's like oh my goodness can I get it done can I you know I don't know and oh my goodness and they'll start freaking out and the pressure and I don't know so just try to put your mind out of all that and uh, I'm gonna move Move our messy paper there. Just toss that. Okay, so now for the fun part. Um, let's see here. Well, we do have to, I think I'm going to put this on first. Alright, so I have just a little piece of acetate. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a little piece of clear plastic. And I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm just going to use some double-sided adhesive there to hold that on. Oh man, I never get it quite long enough. And that's too long. Okay, so I'll have to do a couple sizes here. Nope, not that one. We'll do this tiny baby one. I thought I'd do it. Um, well, let me get another piece. Hang on, hang on. Okay. 
I uh, also want to get, so I want to get caught up on my holiday cards first and foremost, and also birthday cards. Birthday cards seem to be um, in need the most, and there's always, like, no matter how I plan, there's always new people, you know, whether it's people you work with or, you know, my father will ask me for a card for somebody, and, you know, just people out of the blue that I had not thought of. And uh, so I want to kind of have some cards on hand, at least for stuff like that. I'm just getting that glue off my hands. All right, where does it end? Do, 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 do. There it is. Okay. So are you guys always behind on things? Or are you all caught up? Do you keep your stamping way ahead? I always say I'm going to, and then I rarely do. So, but this year, this is going to be my year. <laughs> hope, really hope, we're going to make it happen. And this collab is the first step to doing that. So, we're all good. We're on the we're on the right track. And you guys do multiple um, cards for the holidays, or I get kind of bored after doing a couple of cards normally. So, about three is kind of my limit of any particular design. But, and I don't think, seeing as how there's a lot of cutting out and whatever to this, uh, this is not going to be one of those that I, um, that I do a bunch of. <laughs> I can already see that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and tape this up. And then we'll glue our little doodads on there. I want gingerbread in the middle. Can you guys see that? Um, star. And there is a tiny little sprinkles die, a uh, stamp, not die, that comes with it. Not the heart. I want the heart for something else. Hmm. Oh, the tree. Here we go. Um, yeah, that'll work. Now I need glue. Uh, What was I saying? Who knows? Probably something crazy. Don't know, don't know. So anyway, how many birthday cards do you guys do per year? How many how many Christmas cards do you do? Um, I think some people literally like do all of their cards. But I have a really large uh, family on my mom's side. And that, we send out a lot <laughs> Of cards, so I don't think I could ever do quite that many, um, but I do do them for, I guess, special people or people where I'm closer to or whatever, and uh, and definitely my my swap pals and my um, people like that. So, all right. Um, if you'd like to have a birthday card from me in your uh, you know, regular watcher or a subscriber or whatever, um, let me know and, uh, leave your birthday below, I guess, like the date of your birthday and, um, I already have your email. That's cool. Or if not, you want to leave your email so I can get your address or whatever. I will, uh, be sure and send you a birthday card. I'm going to make my official birthday and Christmas card list here in the next week or so since this collab is going on. And just kind of see um, what and how many I definitely need. So I want to already plan ahead. Alright, so I'm just adding a little bit of Wink of Stella with that. And that is the the um, glitter clear one. I also like the glitter silver one. But I probably use the glitter clear one a little bit more. Use it kind of on everything. Okay, so... I don't think I'm quite ready for this just yet. I'm going to go ahead and flip that over. I shouldn't have taken that off just yet because now we need to tape this up. Sorry guys, it's very exciting, isn't it? Just lots of tape, tape, tape. But, so what kind of 4th of July plans do you guys have? We are doing a, a barbecue here. 
not with the entire family or anything. Just, um, I've just invited my boyfriend's, um, family, his mom, his aunt, and, uh, him, and, okay, I'm gonna have to have that skinny tape again. I don't really, I don't feel like this little skinny tiny tape really does much. Is it really, does it have any sticking power? I don't know. It seems so little, but what is there to stick? Um, but anyway, and then my other aunt and my little cousin, well, she's not little, she's like, she's the one that had the birthday the other day, and I did the, um, the lion card for, and, um, she's gonna be back in visiting, so I told them that they could come down, and, um, so hopefully that will be all. Sometimes in my family, word gets out, <laughs> even when you kind of don't want it to, and there might be others that show up. I have a feeling my other aunt might pop in, and then I'll have um, a cousin, two cousins from my mother's side of the family visiting, um, not here, but her, her father that lives not too far from here. So sometimes she pops in. And I'm not saying that we're doing it or anything, but um, if they pop in, they pop in. There, there'll be plenty of food and things. So we're going to um, grill some ribs, which is my favorite, and uh, some chicken, some um, hot dogs, and uh, okay. So let me pay attention to what I'm doing for one second and shut my big old mouth. Okay. All right. So that'll work. So now you've got your little your little door flap that opens here. So we're gonna add our cookies in there. So you can look in there and see what's brewing. What's if they're burning or not? I'll burn things a lot. Oops, I didn't mean to get glue on that. Better not close that just yet. Um, huh. you know what, I might, another little clear piece somewhere, I might should put like a little piece of this, and that in there for just right now while I close it for, for another reason, let me, that's too little. Uh, let me tear off a piece of big tape here, and I'll take the back from that. Alright, so that'll protect the glue, and now I've got that all sticky. That was crazy and wasteful. Oh, well. Oh, gosh. Okay. So... Where's our towel that we did? Here's a little towel. Okay. You know what? I probably should have colored the heart green. But since it's got an outline on it, I'll go ahead and color that green around it. Anyway, the towels mom had used to hang there. They were like, kind of like crocheted at the top. And like then the towel would hang down. You guys know what I'm talking about? I guess they're sort of old tiny towels or whatever. But, um, okay. So next we need to put on this handle, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. In the meantime... We gotta, we're going to be doing some other things while a couple pieces dry after this next step or two. So there's our little towel that's going to hang over this thing. And I also think while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. I had not planned on doing that. But you guys know I do love to pop stuff up. So, we are. 
But anyway, um, so for the fourth, we are just doing some grilling, having some people down, and uh, and then hoping that no neighbors <laughs> have fireworks this year. But I'm a little nervous because I have some newer neighbors that moved in and um, I just, they have several kids and I just know, I just know that they're going to <laughs> have a bunch of fireworks. I hope not, but I'm pretty sure. And my dogs hate fireworks. They're terrified, as most dogs probably are. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, we sit and baby them and try to keep them calm and all that good stuff. So, all right. So, another way to... Uh, my glue is dripping everywhere. I try to wipe that little glue mess up there. Um, while we wait, another way to uh, make it look a little bit more metallic would be the Wink of Stella again. And I'm just going to take it over the entire thing before it's going to be easier to do then because I don't have the handle on yet. So. I would actually like to be at the beach, Myrtle Beach in particular, for the 4th of July, if possible. But that's not going to happen this year. But um, but it's super, super crowded at the 4th, too. A lot of times, if I can pick, I do go after the 4th. But, um, but I love crowds at the same time. Like, not while I'm driving. But um, I just like to people watch and... Check everybody out and all that good stuff. I love when the beach is nice and crowded. Although I love like when it's a ghost town too. It's we went after Labor Day. Normally, you know, I'm going back to work or school or whatever, and um, so I don't get a chance to go after Labor Day. But when I was in graduate school, um, well, before I started working, I worked part of the time I was in graduate school. But um, so before that. We actually got to go in September, and it was like the day after Labor Day, boom, ghost town. Like, it was just, I, I was just stunned. I was like, where is everybody? This is insane. And, uh, but, you know, it's a great time to go, and the rates drop, and they drop even more a little later. But, um, okay, so here is the handle. So I want to be able to glue it down, but I want it to kind of stay, especially if I'm sticking it in the card. But, all right, so, well, I still need that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use regular glue. I was going to use maybe some hot glue, but I don't have my gun ready and heated up. So, what kind of crafter am I? Oh my gosh, no hot glue gun ready. Bad girl, bad girl. All right, so I'm just going to put that on there, and I'm going to go ahead and squish it in. I'm going to try to find something heavy to sit on there. Looking, looking, looking around the table. <laughs> okay, here's something. All right, this block from my turtle card is not put away, so we'll leave that on there for right now. We will work on these. Oops, can't have that turning sideways. Okay, we'll let that dry too. And we'll go ahead and sparkle this little thing up. Uh, I got a vanilla frost thing all by itself. Oh, I used to love those, um, what were they called, teddy grams or something like that. And they came with like a little dipping thing. Uh, a vanilla frosting with sprinkles in it. Oh my gosh. Mother would put that in my lunch box. And I thought I had died and gone to heaven. So, <laughs> didn't take much to impress me, did it? Um, Alright, so. I've gone ahead and embossed this uh, little green card with some holly leaves. And... I've cut out with those new um, Gina Marie dies I showed you guys in my haul the other day. 
Um, I think it's just such a pretty and elegant little bag. But anyway, so I've gone ahead and cut that out. And we'll get that all peeled away and on there. I cannot believe the year is like half gone already. So many of the stores already seriously, like seriously, have all kinds of stuff for Christmas out. It's, I don't really, <laughs> I want to plan ahead, but at the same time, I don't really want to think about it either. So it's like, oh my goodness, I don't know. Alright, so we're going to go, I'm going to go with that. And I cut out a little green piece. Whoops. See, they see. I got a little bit more stamping to do for the inside, but I promise I won't be much, I hope anyway, much longer. Okay, this needs to be over just a little bit. Okay. dry probably not oh my gosh do you guys know what I did <laughs> I can't I cut that I took it right out and I sit it on there to dry genius 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 I'm the Lord okay <laughs> well it works out anyway okay so I put that right there and I do like that it's popped up did I have I sprinkled everything with the love and glitter? Can't be a card without glitter. I'm so glad. That's another thing. I've been going through and um, uh, redoing my craft room. Not redoing it, just, I guess, reorganizing it. And um, I'm starting to think I'm not really going to use glitter anymore, like real glitter, because I have things like the Wink Estella or whatever and real glitter is just so messy but yet I have a ton of it and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to part with it it's like it's a part of me but um but it sits there and I never use it so have you guys done away with your glitter or do you still use it I just I really don't but it's one of those things that's tough to get rid of as well okay so this ought to be Hopefully fairly dry by now. So we're going to put some tape on the inside here. Um, we'll use right there. And right there. And try to kind of leave that little fold. Go ahead and trim the excess away there so we don't need that and we're just going to wrap the towel you know how you do around the little bar that hopefully is dry we will see all right come on come on be dry okay gonna be close enough It'll be fine. Okay, but I do see a little tea towel that doesn't have a little glitter. See, you guys almost let me get away with not putting glitter on something. Okay, so I want to add these two things um, here and here. Such a cute little rolling pin. Almost tuck that in there. Can you tell what it is though? I mean, I guess they would know what it is, right? If I didn't just leave it out, because kind of it kind of cut funny. I think I'm gonna trim that a minute. I should have got a small, a small scissors. 
Oh, I think I just ruined it. Okay, so now, what if I just put that in there like that? Well, I'm going to have to trim. Where are my small scissors? Hang on just a second, guys. Here we go. Just kind of let you get in there a little bit more. And trim that up. Okay. So now it really doesn't at all match that in because now it has a whatever. But I still feel like it kind of fits better, weirdly enough. So I guess we're just going to glue it instead of tape it down. Same thing with the vanilla frosting. I thought about pop dotting it, but I think long term, especially if I do end up waiting um, until Christmas, I want it to be, you know, I want it to last. And I'm not sure sometimes when you put the puffy tape on there, if it really holds its sticky, you know what I'm saying, like long term. It does for the time and, you know, when you give it to somebody, but who knows if it breaks down or whatever later. So, all right, so that is super adorable, I think. And you open it up and you take off the little extra pieces that you didn't mean to have on there. There we go. We don't need any of that. And um, there's a little tag thing. Can't find it right now. But it comes, uh, oh, we got to do our stamping. I forgot. Um, that comes with it that you can hang off of it. This is open me, but I don't. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to go or something. Alright, so let me just set this card aside. It'll dry and all that good stuff. Um, this was the big piece of acetate that I was using. Alright, so now that I look at it, that looks rather crooked. Um, so I'm using the sentiment, may your holidays be... May your holidays be sprinkled with joy. And then here's my little shaker and the sprinkles. I don't think it's going to be crooked. We'll see. If so, we'll have to do it again. But I won't make you guys sit through that. You get the gist of what I'm doing here. So, Sorry my misty is so dirty. But it's just the way it is. do just a little bit better. There we go. Oh, how cute. If I do say so myself. <laughs> All right. So that's adorable. Okay. Um, so what color should we color those? I feel like maybe just the one Stella. That could give it some glitter on the bottle wouldn't take away from anything and then maybe red and green sprinkles since it's red and green so we'll just lightly touch that one that one I don't know that one that one and that one all right super cute okay so now let's go ahead and tape that up And we will be done. So thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me. All that good stuff. You know what? I did make sugar cookies last year. I forgot about that. Here I was saying I didn't really make any other cookies. But I did. I made some kind of sugar cookies. And I, I remember I didn't get the icing right. It was a little liquidy. <laughs> um, not supposed to be liquidy. But um, it, I just, so I just sort of poured it over them, and I did them in the shape of, the shape of um, trees. No stars. There were stars. And um, 
and they were a big hit though because and they were they were like really soft and good and whatever and so everybody thought I meant to do that so I just went with it I was like oh yeah <laughs> but it came in a box um, it was a really cute box and I couldn't resist um, it's like in in the baking aisle or whatever and um, it's like a whole you know a little kit or whatever and so there all right guys so as of today happy happy Christmas in July and may your holidays be sprinkled with joy and come over and get some cookies gingerbread is of course my favorite and um, we'll see you next week next Saturday bye